What's going on everybody? It's your bro here. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how we can create a simple checkbox in Java. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. All right, everyone, we're going to be creating a J checkbox. This is a GUI component that can be selected or deselected. So let me give you a rundown of my setup that I have. We covered this in the last video. So we have two classes, a main class. It doesn't really matter what you call it, as long as it contains a main method. We're going to create a new instance of MyFrame. So MyFrame will extends JFrame, so it behaves exactly like a JFrame, but it also implements an action listener interface. Within the constructor of MyFrame, I have this.setDefaultClose operation, JFrame exit on close. We're using a flow layout manager. We're going to pack this frame and set the visibility to true. And then we'll also need an action performed method so we can listen for events. All right, once you have all that, we're ready to begin. This is how to create a J checkbox. So within the constructor, for now, I'm just going to declare a J checkbox. J check box. And we will call this check box equals new J check box. We'll probably need an import, so include that. And then I'm adding this checkbox to the frame. So before we pack this, this.add the name of your checkbox. And this is what we have so far. Just a simple selectable checkbox, but we'll probably want to add some text. We don't know what we're selecting exactly. So after we create this checkbox, let's set the text. You can either pass this into the constructor or we can use the set text method. So check box dot set text. And we'll place some sample text like I'm not a robot. Seriously, guys, I'm not. And this is what we have now. I'm not a robot. Last time I checked, I wasn't. So there's this annoying border around the text. We can get rid of that. You have to set focusable to false. Checkbox dot set focusable false. And that will take care of that issue. So this text is somewhat small and difficult to read. We can actually change the font too. Checkbox dot set font new font and pass in whatever font you want. You can copy me if you want. So console us font plain, and then a size. 35 is good, but doesn't matter what you pick. And that's a little bit easier to read. So what can we do with this? Let's create a button. And when we click on this button, it's going to tell us if this is selected or not. So let's create a button before this checkbox. So that's a J button. We'll call this button equals new J button. And we'll need an import as well. And let's set some text. You can either pass this into the constructor, a string, or we can use the set text method. So button dot set text. And I will set this to submit. We're also going to need to add an action listener. So button dot add action listener. Since we're implementing an action listener interface, we can simply just pass in this. All right, so we have an action listener that's attached to this button. When we click on the button, it's going to trigger this action performed method. So we need to check to see if the event that happens is equal to the button. So if e.get source is equal to our button. Now let's take a look at this button. This button is not recognized or this action performed method does not recognize this button. That's because we declared this button within the constructor. So we should make this global by declaring this outside of the constructor because right now it's only local to everything within our constructor. So I'm going to copy this portion, paste it, and we do not need to declare this twice. So at the top, J button button, then button equals new J button. So then our action performed method now recognizes this button. And we'll need to do the same thing with our checkbox. So checkbox equals new checkbox. 
Now we're going to determine to see if this checkbox is selected. So there's a function to do that. Checkbox dot is selected. And this is going to return true or false. For now, I'll just print this. So system.out.println, and we're going to print the result. You can also assign this to a variable too. That would work as well. And let's try this. I am not a robot. Oh, we need to add the button. Crap, let's do that. So this dot add button. I sometimes forget to add components. You will too, probably. All right, I'm not a robot. Cool, this says I am not a robot. Now I am a robot. Now I'm not. Now I am. So did you guys know you can actually change the appearance of this checkbox? We can set this to an image. So I have a few images that I want to use. This picture of an X, I just called this X.png and a picture of a green check mark. So I want to change the checkbox to these images when the checkbox is deselected or selected. So I'm just going to create some image icons. Feel free to pause the video if you want to look for some icons that you want to use. So image icon, I will call the X icon just X icon. And then we have another image icon and I will call this check icon. And then I will finish instantiating these within our constructor. Right here is good, I suppose. All right, so X icon equals new image icon. And we list where this is located. Since this is within my project folder, I can just list the name. So that is x.png. And I'll do the same thing for my check mark icon here. So that is check icon. And the name is checkmark.png. To add an icon to a checkbox, when it's deselected, you type in the name of the checkbox and we use the dot set icon method and we pass in an icon that we want to use. We want to use this X icon, which is the red X that we have. And this is our icon. However, if we were to click on this, it doesn't appear to do anything, even though we can toggle this between checked and unchecked, selected or deselected. So we're also going to combine this with set selected icon. So check box dot set selected icon. And I'm going to use my check icon. And then now when we run this, we can actually change the image when we select this checkbox. All right, so that's the basics of creating a simple checkbox in Java. If you want a copy of all this code, I'll post all of this in the comments down below. But yeah, that's the basics of creating a checkbox in Java. Hey you, yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learn something new, then you can help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button. Drop a comment down below and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.